was starting to get worried that maybe you forgot your appointment. But I'm happy to see you're here. Go ahead and have a seat wherever you'd like. Make yourself at home. After all, I want you to be comfortable. I want to make sure your checkup with me is nice and comfortable. My name is Dr. Pillow, and I will be taking care of you today. Today, we will be doing a cranial nerve exam. Those are a bit of fancy words, huh? Don't worry. It just means we're going to be testing your senses. We want to make sure your head is working right. It's somewhat like a brain exam without actually touching your brain. There's nothing scary about it. There will be no needles today. Nothing of the sort. So you don't need to be afraid, I promise. Before we begin, I'm just going to need to ask a few questions. And I'll type them here on my keyboard. Would you give me your name? Okay. What are your preferred pronouns? Okay. How has your mental health been of late? A little bit. Have you been experiencing any dizziness, static in your eyes, anything of the sorts that may be alarming? Okay. Is there anything you would like me to know, or anything you want me to check up? during our exam today. Okay. I see. That's all the questions I needed to ask for now. If anything else comes up, I will make sure to ask you. And of course, you can always ask me questions. It's important for you, my patient, to feel comfortable. So please don't feel nervous about communicating with me. Now, shall we begin? Before the physical exam, I need to go ahead and put my gloves on. Over my right hand. And over my left. So 
spine of injury or anything else that may be wrong. First, let's look behind your left ear. Your left ear. Search. I don't see anything behind. So let's check behind your right ear. Is there anything behind your right Just going to sort through your hair and search to make sure that there's nothing wrong. It's okay. I know that most people say they find this very relaxing. I prefer if you're relaxed. I prefer if your eyes are closed and you It seems your head turns okay. Now I'm going to tap from the top of your face to the bottom of your face. Hold still for me. I don't feel anything wrong. I think you're okay. Yes, I know you're okay. There are no physical issues around your head. I think we can move on. First, let me type. so well behaved. You're making my job quite easy. Next, we are going to examine your ears. Both of your ears. Your right ear and your left. Go ahead and close your eyes and relax. 
first ear test. Oh. Yes, you're right. So you're putting on my gloves. One of the cameras. Stick it in your right ear. It may be a little cold, but it won't be uncomfortable. It just hold still. I'm going to look inside your right ear. see a little bit of earwax. All I'm going to do is get this pick and pick it out of your ear. Is that okay? Okay. Just turn your head a little bit. There we go. something. Here, let me go ahead and get it for you. It'll be 
simple. With your eyes closed, I'm going to make a cell on either side of your head. Sometimes I may blow directly on your ear, and you will tell me which side it's coming from. Simple enough, right? And we're going to start the test. I have a pill bottle here. And I want you to tell me which side of the head I'm going to put it on. Right now. Which side was I holding the bottle on? I was holding it in your left. Can you tell me which side of your head I was holding the glass cup on? Was it your left or your right? I was holding it on your right ear. Good. Your right. I have a container of fluids. This one may be a little bit difficult. It's a little quiet. But I believe in you. I'm sure you can get it right. Last one. Are you ready? Three, two, holding the container on your right or your left. I was holding it on your
your left side. Very good. Let me write this down. You're doing so well. But we have one more part of your listening exam. It's a little different. For this test, we're going to see how good your hearing is. Here. I have a pair of headphones. Headphones. And we're gonna put them over your ears like this. See? I put them on. And they fit nice and snugly. And there's adjustable parts to make sure it fits on your head comfortably. We don't want it to be too tight on you. Do I have your consent to put these over your ears? Good. I'm going to put these headphones on you and then test your hearing with them on. So just hold still. Whisper, 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 whisper. Can you hear me? I'm going to tap on your headphones again, just a little bit. Okay. Now we're going to do a little test. I'm going to tap a certain amount of times, and I want you to tell me how many times I tapped. Are you ready? For this first one, I'll count with you, okay? One. I tapped four times. Now it's your turn. Are you ready? How many times did I tap? Three.
we're going to count one more time. Just one more time. Are you ready? How many did I tap that time? How many? You can hear me clear now. Do I sound normal again? Nice and normal. <laughs> no more headphones. That is it for the hearing portion of the exam. You did so well. The next portion of this exam will be a feeling exam. We need to test your sense of touch. Sense of touch. I have two objects here. One is a very soft makeup brush. A soft makeup brush. And the other one I have here is a metal stick with a small spiral. A wheel. And the wheel is covered in small little spikes. And not to worry, the spikes aren't very sharp. It's the same amount of sharpness as the end of a pencil. It won't hurt you, I promise. What I'm going to do for this test is I'm going to gently brush either of the objects around your face. And when I do, I want you to tell me if what you're feeling is soft or sharp. Soft or sharp. We're going to test if you can tell the difference. And like I said, the sharp object will not hurt you. I promise. See, I'll even use it on myself. Not sharp. It doesn't hurt. Are you ready, my beloved patient? Okay. Just relax. I'm going to start now. And just tell me what you feel.
the makeup brush very very soft now let's do it again tell me what you feel you feel? Was it soft or was it sharp? Sharp. Very good. You've been doing so well on these tests. Good job. Let's just do it a little bit faster now. Are you ready? Tell me what you feel as soon as you know. good. You only missed one. I'm so proud of you. Let me go ahead and document these results. Now, for the next sense that we're going to be testing. Oh, it seems the clinic's cat has made her way in here. <laughs> Just ignore her. She is very friendly, and she loves saying hello to visitors. For the next test that we're going to be doing, we're going to test your sense of smell. We're going to see how well you can tell the difference between smells to make sure that part of your cranial, your brain, is okay. Have you ever been in a perfume shop before? In perfume shops, they spray scents 
on little pieces of paper for you to keep as a sample. What we're doing here is going to be similar. I have small strips of paper And I'm just going to be spraying these fragrances on them. Here we have three different fragrances. I'm going to spray them on the papers now. This test will work is I'll just put it underneath your nose and swish it around a little. And you're going to tell me which scent I'm preventing to you. We have three different scents here. One is lavender. One is orange. And the other is the smell of dirt. <laughs> all natural smells, all things you can find in nature. Okay. Here is the first paper. I'm going to wiggle it beneath your nose. has a bit of an earthy undertone to it. A little bit wet. Sort of musty. Which scent is it? Dirt. You got that one right. I'll go ahead and do the next one now. Next one. Next one. Has a flowery scent. Soothing. Maybe makes you feel a little bit sleepy. It's lavender. Lavender scent. Very good. Nice, relaxing lavender. Okay. Are you ready for the last one? I know you can already predict which one the last one will be, but I still want you to do your best to describe it to me. Just to make sure. Okay. Smell, smell, smell. Smell. What are you smelling? Thing. 
रहेंगी समथिंग फ्रूटी Which scent do you think it is? Orange. Orange. This scent is the scent of oranges. Very good. Very good. It seems your sense of smell is relatively okay. It's nothing of concern. Mm. Okay. That's it for your sense of smell exam. today. Please stop interrupting the session. Quiet kitty, quiet kitty. Bye bye, Glenn and kitty. Okay. Now that Glenn and kitty is done interrupting us, we can go ahead and begin our next portion of the exam. This one is my favorite, and a lot of patients have told me that they quite enjoy it. You can think of it as a game, a fun, relaxing little game. We are going to be doing an intuition test. I am going to present to you with several options. And your job is to simply tell me which option you prefer, or, sorry, which option you think I am going to pick. See? Simple. A very simple intuition test. We're going to start off very simple. Very, very simple. I want you to guess if I am going to pick the number one or the number two. One or two. Am I going to pick the number one or two? Tell me your answer. Okay. I am going to pick number two. Number two. Number two. Okay. Now we're going to do some a little bit tougher because we're going to have several options. We're going to do the colors of the rainbow. Let me remind you what the colors are. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. Six different colors. Six colors. And I want you to predict which one you think 
think I'm going to choose red, orange, yellow, green, blue, or purple. Tell me which color. The color I am thinking of is blue. I am thinking of the color blue. Blue, blue, blue. The color blue. Very We're just going to do a few more, okay? Partially for the exam, and partially just for fun. Just for fun. On my desk, I have some tiny little collectible My Little Pony figures. My little pony, my little pony. Da, 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 da. I have Fluttershy and Pinkie Pie. Fluttershy and Pinkie Pie. Which one am I going to pick? I pick Fluttershy, the element of kindness, Fluttershy, very good. Now, next one, am I going to tap on your left or your right? Your left or your right ear. Are you ready? Which one do you think I'm going to tap on? test. Two more. Okay. Okay. These last two are going to be simple or test. You're going to tell me which one I'm thinking of. Am I thinking about morning? Or am I thinking about night? Morning or night? Morning or night? Morning or night? Which one am I thinking of? Are you ready? I am thinking of night time. Are you ready? Okay. Waffles or pancakes? Waffles or pancakes? Am I thinking of waffles 
or pancakes? Waffles or pancakes? I am thinking about waffles. Waffles, waffles, waffles. Nice, crunchy, crispy. Was it for the intuition test? I told you it's fun, didn't I? Did you have a nice time? I had a nice time. Okay. For the last part of your cranial exam, we we're going to get facial measurements. Facial measurements and make sure that everything is okay. The quick examination that I did earlier was not very thorough, but this is going to be thorough. We want to be extra safe and triple and double check everything to make sure that when I send you home today that you are really okay and in the clear. Okay? Do I have your consent to examine your face and head? Okay, good. I want to start with testing your peripheral vision. So look at my finger, and I'm going to move it slowly to the side, and you're going to tell me when you can no longer see it. Look at my nose. Okay. Follow my finger. Okay. Tell me when. Tell me when. Tell me when. Tell me when. your other eye. Tell me when. Tell me when. Tell me when. Okay. Good, 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 good. Now, I am going to get my finger and drag it from the corner of your eye to your ear. Corner of your eye to your ear. And now both at the same time. of your mouth to the back of your jaw. Faces. It's much easier than a roller since I can bend it. Much easier. First, I'm going to 
gonna start by measuring from the top of your forehead to the bottom of your chin. from your left ear to your right ear. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay. Measure your left ear. I washed my hands. Okay. <sighs> now we're gonna wrap it entirely around your head. From your nose all the way around to your nose again. the circumference of your head. Okay. Let me make sure to write down all of this information. Sometimes, as humans, it can be difficult for us to know if there's anything on the back of our head because we don't have eyes on the back of our head. But don't worry, I'm here to check and look for you. Oh. Going to look around your head. perfectly normal. 
even I have a few bumps on my head. So there's no need to worry. It's entirely natural. And you are okay. I promise. Let me feel around your face a little more. good to me. <laughs> well, I think you're okay then. I don't see anything wrong. Okay. I think it's about time we start wrapping things up. What all did we do today? For your exam, we tested your hearing, your sense of touch, your sense of smell, your intuition, and I checked your head, and we got a visit from the clinic kitty. How fun. How do you feel after your exam? Nice and comfortable, relaxed. I see. <laughs> yes, when I get these exams, I'm almost falling asleep as well. Well, I'm going to go ahead and let you lay here for a while. You can stay in my office here as long as you'd like. Just relax. And if you decide to take a nap, that's perfectly okay. I won't mind. You're safe in here. And you're comfortable. And you're accepted. Go ahead and relax. I'll send your paperwork to the receptionist. And whenever you're ready to leave, all you have to do is say hello to her. If you want your paperwork. If you don't want your paperwork, you can just leave and you don't have to worry about talking to anyone. But like I said, you can just sit here and lay down and relax. And I'm gonna do a little bit of paperwork over here. So I hope you don't mind my typing and anything else. Just get comfortable. And thank you for coming to your exam today.